Hello and welcome to another roundup of this week's property news in under five minutes. First up and stamp duty still in the headlines, Zoopla reporting that up to 70,000 people could miss out on the deadline. Right move a little bit higher than that at 100,000 is their forecast, 100,000 buyers that will miss out. So it remains to be seen what happens with the extension or the non-extension. Certainly one buzzword and phrase you might be hearing is national property tax. So this is the, uh, the, the term they're using to describe what will replace stamp duty and council tax combined. So national property tax, listen out for that. I think we're gonna start hearing more about that. In terms of stamp duty extensions, the forecasts are that if there is a six week extension, then that will help uh, up to 160,000 people to actually get their property deals over the line and benefit from the holiday. A market update from 20CI this week indicating that instructions per branch this year to date are down 19%, although sales agreed up some 28%. So a huge imbalance between supply and demand we should hopefully see more supply come into the market post lockdown and we could see quite a spike there but certainly that demand is underpinning prices and if anything if you look at last year's stats which were released by the ONS this week as well uh, house prices increased by eight and a half percent which is the fastest increase for some six years so huge pressure on prices lots of demand we certainly need more supply coming to the market I think we'll get that as we come out of lockdown let's see now, some consolidation happening in the high street and in the industry in general. Um, 20CI reporting last year that there were some 339 branch closures, uh, mostly uh, affecting the SME market, which is classified by 20CI as two to five branches. Um, small independents actually grew their branch footprints by a small percent, but it was a growth nonetheless, 0.3%. Um, the online and hybrids did not escape actually losing some seven companies in total last year, which accounts for around 8% of the online and hybrid market. So consolidation continues to happen. We're certainly seeing a rise of uh, agents doing things the right way and we're seeing agents doing things the wrong way, certainly not being able to cope in, in the, today's market, but it bodes very, very well for the future of agencies doing things in the right way. Self-employed agency in the news again this week with Adam Day from EXP claiming now 150 agents are part of their model which is, uh, is a high number, uh, but when you look at the total number of agents in the market, around 100,000 estate agents, um, it's a very small percentage, around 0.15% of the market. But nevertheless, I think it is here to stay. Um, I think it is a growing market. There's a lot of interest around self-employed. It remains to be seen how much more traction it will gain, but we'll certainly be keeping a very close eye on that as we move forwards. You may have seen the news this week about Property Mark, the most recent CEO resigned after just four months. So it leaves Property Mark in a really difficult position. Um, a lot of industry commentators suggesting that it's becoming pointless as an organization um, and no direction. So quite a hard time for Property Mark. Who knows where they go next? Um, we are, as agents are waiting for ROPA licensing, all the rest of it, that seems to be more important to us. But Again, there's no roadmap for that either. So property mark, ROPA, licensing, all seems a little bit up in the air at the moment. We'll keep a close eye on developments there and keep you posted. And finally, you may have heard of Clubhouse. If you haven't, then it's worth having a look into it. We run a group every Thursday at seven o'clock. If anyone's interested, you can see behind me the, uh, the people that were on last night. Uh, great discussions. It's called Estate Agency Matters. Jump on, get stuck in turn your mic on, get involved. There's some great debates, conversations, all very polite, respectful, and actually a determination to help move this industry forward. So if you have got a, an iPhone, please download the app, have a look at Clubhouse, and it'd be great to get you on. Thanks very much, have a good week, stay positive. We're another week closer to getting out of lockdown.